I see the world through the lens of my camera. That's what I do every other day. I take pictures. When I'm angry, I'll show you a photo. And I have a three-year-old son that I love so much. And I want him to grow in a country that is not tribal, a country that would be judged not because of his tribe, but because of integrity and character. And that's what I would do what I do every other day. Boniface's social impact is so strong, especially in the, in the fact that he's not just taking photographs of brutality. What is crucial about his work is that he actually brings the photographs to be some kind of mirror, the public. And through this mirror, everyone who, who sees these photographs sees themselves. Through these photographs, there's public debate. There is healing. There's healing towards this violence, which was very strong in the years of 2007 and 2008. But what is so special about what he did was that then he took these images back to a place where they rarely go, back to the sites of violenced communities and the streets which were implicated in this violence. And by doing that, he created a very immediate and popular form of a Truth and Reconciliation Commission. In recent years, Boniface has started to work with graffiti artists. These Graffiti on the walls is like a local commentary. It's a commentary surrounding the city, surrounding the citizens. The graffiti talks about corruption, and it talks about uh, politicians who are vouchers. It's, it's almost like a, a local newspaper. By a young person with very few resources and in a very direct type of way. I use photography to heal the world, and I use photography to make a difference.